Most college teams don't have their names on the back of players' jerseys. Some might say it's because they play for the name on the front. A Sable native turned Northern Vermont University Linden athlete Ken Neiman plays for a community that does not have any representation on a uniform. I was born differently. Even as a kid, Ken always knew. I think this is the wrong body for me. But it was not until the end of his time at Osable Valley High School that he told the world. I came out publicly to my senior high school English teacher. From high school girls varsity soccer. <laughs> ignorance, I guess. It was a lot of just like when I would go play sports in neighboring towns, but being in Osable was a lot more accepting than I gave people credit for. Oh, to NVU's men's soccer team. Some, some knocks at Ken. I'm trans. I was born a uh, female and then, but never felt that way, never identified that way. You know, I've always been this. Initially, Ken planned on waiting to undergo hormone therapy until after college. So that was just a rough time for me trying to hide one part of me and like be this other person in classes and on campus. Ken chose not to wait. It was time to be his true self which introduced him to another set of challenges. It's like being in middle school again. <laughs> you know, you got breakouts. It's like someone going through another puberty. It's not fun. You know, doctors mix up with hormones and lapses. But through all the hard times, Ken had people in the Hornets community he can lean on. Just like, nope, keep going. I've told him time and time again, I, I really don't know what you're going through, but I know hard times are hard times. We're like, come on, Ken, you can do this. Like. We got to get you through this and ultimately he came out on top and here we are. Not only did Ken come out on top by being himself, he is being recognized by the NCAA as a finalist for the inaugural Division Three LGBTQ One Team Award. You don't see a lot of trans athletes in sports, so it's kind of a way for me to show that community in a different light. He wants to motivate other people in his position to be able to go out and do the things that he was able to do and appreciate soccer the way he is able to. Proud of who he's become and just to watch him, like I'm peeping over at him and I want to get teared up, but like it's just so nice. An outlet for me, like I never had to think about the outside world or dealing with this internal like struggle of being trans, like when I was playing, I just, you were on the field and it was just like complete bliss. Sports helped Ken find his bliss. And he hopes his example helps people in the trans community in all walks of life. I mean, you just gotta keep pushing. Like, it gets better. Like, it really does. Ken's teammates made one thing abundantly clear. Yes, he's been through a lot, but on and off the field, he's just one of the guys, which is all Ken wants to be. For the Sports Desk, Marshall Kramsky.